Welcome to the video tutorial for TIC, an easy to use time tracking and invoicing tool. TIC is available for purchase through the Mac App Store. The first thing we need to do to get going with TIC is to create customers and projects. Start off by clicking the Customers tab and pressing the plus button. Enter a name and email address. Email will be the address that you send your invoices to. Next, click on the Projects tab. There you can press the plus button to create your project. Give it a name, select the customer from the drop-down list, and the rate at which you charge for the project. Now that we have a customer and a project, we can start using the timer to create tasks. Start off by clicking the Timer tab. You'll notice that we have a few things here. We have a drop-down to select a project from. We'll choose the demo project. Next, we see the timer. This is what keeps track of our time. Just press the play button to start the timer. To make tasks meaningful, each task has an associated message. You can enter a task message any time before the task is saved. When you're ready to save your work, click the Save Task button. The timer and message field will be reset. You'll also notice that your grand total will be updated to reflect your uninvoiced tasks. Other features of the timer include handy keyboard shortcuts, which can be seen in the timer menu at the top. The timer also offers a menu bar icon, which indicates whether tasks are in progress and can be used to control one or more timers. Clicking the project name will return focus to the tick window for that project. Now that we have some tasks, let's find out what else we can do with them. All the tasks for the selected project live under the Tasks tab. Tasks are grouped by day with each day showing the total billable amount in hours for the day. To see all the tasks on a given day, just click the expansion indicator for that day. To manually create a new task for today, click the plus button. Enter a name for the task, and then the amount of time spent on that task. To delete a task, select it, then click the minus button. To resume a task you've already saved, select it, then click the resume button. Resuming a task restarts the task from right where you left off. When you're ready to save your changes, just click the save task button. Instead of creating a new task, the selected task will be updated. Now that we have all these tasks, let's send our client an invoice. To create a new invoice, go to the Invoices tab and click the plus button. Enter the date range for which you are billing and an optional message to send your client. To send an invoice, select it and press the Preview button. A preview window opens up to show what your PDF invoice will look like when it's sent to your client. If everything looks right, click the Send Invoice button to send this invoice to the client. The last area we will look at is the profile. Your profile is where you keep your name, email, and mailing address up to date for use in your invoices. You can also select what currency you bill in, a logo to display in your invoices, and whether or not to receive a copy of each invoice that you send. That concludes this video tutorial for TIC. If you have any comments, questions, feature requests, or bug reports, please visit the TIC support page or email tick at onapolo.com.